Hello everybody, this is Dr. Samuel again and in this video we continue looking at the solutions to the Caribbean Secondary Education Council's examination in mathematics in July 2021. So this we are now on question number 10 part A. And the first part of the question is a matrix product question where you are asked to multiply two matrices. Now, what you must remember is that to multiply any two matrices, you multiply each row in the first by each column in the second. But you must have the same number of terms across in the first matrix as down in the second matrix. That's the only way you can multiply the two matrices. In other words, you must have the same number of columns in the first matrix as rows in the second. And we do. We have two rows in the first, two columns in the first matrix, and we have two rows in the second matrix. So this is how we multiply the matrices. So we first multiply the first row in the first matrix by the first column in the second matrix. To do that, we find the product of the first two terms, 5 times 2 is 10. And we add the product of the second two terms, plus 4 times 0 is 0, plus 0. So this is the first term of the answer, we'll add afterwards. Then we stay in that first row of the first matrix and go to the second column in the second matrix to get the second term in the answer. So 5 times 1 is 5 and 4 times 3 is a plus 12. And since there is a third column, then we stay in the first row of the first matrix and multiply it by the third column. 5 times minus 4 is a negative 20. And 4 times 6 is a plus 24. So we have the first three terms or the first row of the answer. We go down to the second row of the first matrix and do the same thing with each column in the second matrix. Just remember, as long as you go down in the first matrix to the second row, then you go down to the second row in the answer. So we're doing the same calculations. Minus 3 times 2 is a negative 6. Minus 2 times 0 is a plus 0. So we have the first element in the second row. Then we go now, multiply the second row in the first matrix by the second column in the second matrix. Minus 3 times 1 is a negative 3. And minus 2 times 3 is a minus 6. Then we now multiply the second row in the first matrix by the third column in the second matrix. Minus 3 times 4 times minus 4 is a plus 12. And minus 2 times 6 is a minus 12. So 
So all we do now is to simplify all the additions. 10 plus zero is 10. 5 plus 12 is 17. And minus 20 plus 24, that is just 4. 24 minus 20. And the second row, minus 6 plus 0 is negative 6. Minus 3 minus 6 is a negative 9. And 12 minus 12 is 0. And this is the answer. This is how you multiply matrices. We will go now on to part two. The second part of the question asks us to state why the two matrices in A1 are conformable for multiplication. That means they are asking to state why they can be multiplied. In that situation here, the first matrix has two columns, the second matrix has two rows, and therefore it, they can be multiplied. So all you do, you state that the number of columns in the first matrix is equal to the number of rows in the second. That's it. Next time, we will move on to part B. If you like this video, then you can subscribe or like or share. See you next time.